a place to work, to learn, to calm, in transit, to relax, so that each and every one makes part of the daily dynamics of one of the most important collective projects in Antioquia region, an investigative, academic and cultural referent of Colombia Latin America. University of Antioquia, a university worthy of 200 years old. The university campus, its main headquarters, is located in the capital of Antioquia, Medellin, the second Colombian city whose population overcomes the two million inhabitants. The headquarters of the University Research, SIU. The health area and Roledo Citadel are also found there. In the sectional regions of Southwest, Bajo Cauca, East, Magdalena Medio, Urabá, Northeast, West and North, the university through the regionalization process contributes with the humanistic, scientific and technological expertise to the development of all sub-regions of Antioquia. From the beginning it is possible to trace the condition of a public project. Its creation in 1803 under the name of Real Colegio de San Francisco was the result of several neighbors' will of the so-called Villa de Medellín. They were looking for an adequate education for their children and founded the oldest educational institution of Antioquia's people. The search for the social relevancy has always characterized this institution. At the moment, it offers more than 200 undergraduate and graduate programs in science, natural sciences, engineering, economics, health and social and human sciences. The curricular transformation, the self-evaluation and accreditation of all its programs demands a high quality of its teachers in order to respond to the domestic needs and promote an interdisciplinary and research approach. To the implementation of part-time and distance programs and new technologies in the educational processes, they have a documented option for a responsible and creative application of pertinent, current and effective formation proposals. The great number of questions, and mainly the problems of our society, did not let that the connection between academy and reality continue to be casual. That is why to link the research to the curricula of undergraduate and graduate programs, to give financial support to groups and research centers through regulated and demanding public convocations, the subject to evaluation the different processes by academic peers, to encourage the participation in national and international scientific events and groups, and the construction of the modern headquarters of University Research CU are concrete evidences of the struggle to overcome the domestic scientific and technological backwardness. From the beginning, the university has been concerned about the human development as beyond the physical and mental health of the members of this community, this is the core of the coexistence and the sense of belonging toward it. That is why every day its members have the possibility to access to programs and services such as the free fees, the scholarships, the feeding service, the student loans, the transport, the duplication of texts, the creation of a pre-cooperative of student services, the promotion of preventive campaigns, the observatory of the university life, and the encouragement to the artistic and cultural creation which constitute the bunch of designed initiatives to increase the life quality of the university community.
The social role of the university has always come out of Streften when interacting with its environment and transforming its needs into a fundamental topic of the academy. It offers different services related to technology, professional consulting and advising, supervision and control, health, education, culture and sports. Through more than 100,000 annual activities, they give account of their commitment with the traditionally excluded sectors and the creation of new development models by showing its contribution to the construction of a modern and democratic country. The information of everyday life, the production of educational series, the civic campaigns, the diffusion of scientific, literary and artistic production, and in general, the intellectual production of the university come by means of these channels to all its audiences, even to inhabitants of the rural areas who now have the educational radio system pioneer in the continent. Hundreds of daily acts compete once again its social commitment. And although everything seems just the closing of a day, many of these actions will turn into lasting moments. Its contribution to the domestic development will say so.